It's smooth, it's bold, it's tasty, it's rich. Everybody loves it, everybody wants it, everybody wants to know how to brew cold brew coffee at home. Maybe I'm getting a little slower and groggier in my old age, but to me it feels like every day I need a little bit more oomph than the last to get out and go into the world. Cold brew coffee provides that. Cold brew, which packs more caffeine per cup than regular coffee, has been my go-to go juice for a while now. And considering it's the smoother, richer, tastier, more flavorful version of the coffee options, it's no wonder that everybody is jumping on the cold brew bandwagon with me. In addition to all of that, making cold brew coffee at home is just about as simple as making toast. But that doesn't mean your brewing options are limited. Cold brew coffee, how can something be so tasty and so turbocharged at the same time? Well, the short answer is science. The deep dive is actually going to require the assistance of Zaba's resident barista, Chris Monachino. Zaba's bar Zabarista. <laughs> Take it away, Chris. Cold brew coffee, or as I like to call it, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's talk about cold brew. How is it different than hot coffee and what makes it so special? Well, it's all in the name. You see, we brew it using cold water, which means it's going to be a longer extraction time than a hot cup of coffee. And the old saying goes, good things come to those who wait. In our case, we're only waiting about 12 to 24 hours for a delicious, smooth, less acidic, higher caffeinated cup of coffee. Personally, I like to cut my local barista a break sometimes and make my own cold brew at home. Now there's a ton of different ways to do this, but today I'm gonna to show you three of my favorite ways. First method involves a good old fashioned mason jar. I like to call this stuff Monachino's Midnight Moonshine. Ooh, it'll put hair on your chest or take it off air as you didn't want it in the first place. It's because this is a cold brew concentrate, which means it is super caffeinated. You're gonna to wanna to cut it with water or just sip it straight if you're a little crazy. Some pros to this. Almost everybody has a mason jar lying around their house and it just looks darn cool. Bad thing is, it's kind of a mess to make. You gotta use like a cheesecloth or some coffee filters. It's steeping, you're squeezing things to get the, the liquid out. It's well worth it, but there's better ways. Now I hear what you're saying. You love the mason jar, but you hate all the mess. Well, that's where Will and Everett come in with a cold brew on tap 2.0. This guy's a 60 fluid ounce mason jar. It has a reusable mesh filter, making it super easy to clean. It has a watertight seal lid so that your cold brew stays fresh up to two weeks. 60 fluid ounces means that it holds up to 12 cups of coffee and they're super easy to access with this awesome built-in tap. And of course I saved my favorite for last. This is the Coffee Gator All-in-One Cold Brew Kit. This guy comes with a built-in mesh filter with a removable screw bottom cap, so it's super easy to clean when you're done. Literally takes less than a minute. If you don't want to clean it yourself, just throw it right in your dishwasher. You'll be making a brand new batch of cold brew in no time. Now, maybe you don't like coffee. I'm not holding that against you. Sometimes I'm a tea guy myself. You can put tea leaves in here. You can put some fruit in here for some fruit infused water. There are so many different ways to use this guy. And that's why I'm such a big fan of Coffee Gator because they are coffee's biggest fan. They literally have everything you need to open your own coffee shop right out of your own kitchen. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how to make cold brew coffee at home. I'd personally recommend the Coffee Gator cold brew kit because it is honestly the easiest, simplest way to make your cold brew, whether you're an amateur barista or expert level. I'm sure Mike's gonna have descriptions down below for that as well as the Willow and Everett cold brew on tap 2.0. You know what, Mike, now that I think about it, there's like five other ways that I love to make cold brew coffee. Oh, and this is like my 10th cup of the day. I, I really think that we could go into detail about some really extensive, awesome other ways that we could just dive deep into the history of cold brew and how to, how to crush <clears> the beans. Thank you so much, tea. Chris. Chris Monachino, Zabarista. <laughs> I love that guy. But you know, he's not wrong. The links to check out the Willow and Everett Cold Brew Tap 2.0 and the Coffee Gator Cold Brew Kit are down there in the description. Check them out. Regardless of motive and regardless of means, by clicking one of the links below and adding one of our dynamic cold brew duos to your cart, you're making a safe bet. Both are trustworthy products, they're both excellent deals, and they both have very much earned our Zaba Frog Stamp Seal of Approval.